Hello, Scorpio. Season's greetings. These messages are going to be for December 23rd through December 30th, 2023. I'll never DM or solicit you. This is going to be about soul lessons, sort of like what's your soul going through, but it's going to be mostly positive here. You know, what do you need to know or hear? Um, and, you know, any good news or any good coming for you. Um, and then ne next week, check back because I'm going to do a special New Year's reading. And make sure you guys follow me on my other platforms. I'll never, ever reach out to you for money or anything like that. All right, let's get into it. So we have worry. So, you know, maybe in the past few weeks, there's been a lot of worry. Um, or maybe this is just something that you always, you know, do. Worry is kind of a wasted emotion. It's easier said than done because I'm a total worry wart. But I'm learning this myself. It does nothing other than kind of give an illusion of control. And when we spend like too much energy worrying, it limits our energy to put towards, you know, thinking like a more positive, hopeful way. It, it kind of destroys hope. It kind of destroys faith. Um, you know, so earth is like the school, they say. I really do believe this. Every single situation and every single person is like teaching us preparing us, showing us something, you know, and we definitely are what we think. So if we always think the worst, we may attract the worst. It's like Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So if you buy into that all the time, you can never really change the energy around you to realign your path to the path of, well, no, it can go good and I absolutely deserve it to go good. And I do believe the angels and God and the creator and, you know, my spirit guides and my angel team and all these, you know, good beings and beings of light around me want this for me. Even your loved ones in heaven can help. But yeah, you have to remember we are what we think. You do have the power to create positive thoughts. Worry is negative and it upsets us and it, you know, can only produce a negative result. If you start to believe, believe it can be, believe it will work out okay, believe you can have it, believe it is true, believe you'll be okay, that will carry healthier, you know, more stable, positive energy because positive beats negative, love beats hate. So it might be a time now where you just need to examine some of your worries and, you know, maybe make a list of pros and cons or which worries are, you know, could be put to the bottom of the list and see which ones you can even cross off the list. But yeah, I feel like better is coming for you. You've struggled enough, all right? But you have to believe it. The power resides in your mind. Nothing can, nothing real, I'm sorry, nothing real can be threatened. How can you actively participate in creating heaven on earth? So if we're not living heaven on earth, then we're living hell on earth. So I feel like, this is like letting you know that miracles can happen. Um, you know, the most important things in life are not really things. It's people, it's connections, it's, you know, our ability to connect to the earth, to connect to one another, to connect to each other's hearts. And life can feel out of control and it can feel overwhelming. But when you remind yourself where your true power lies, connected to source energy and divine love, all illusions will fall away. Sometimes you need to just take a few minutes and sit and breathe in that and believe it. Check back next week. Love and light.